All right. We are live. We are live. Well, welcome back, any and all viewers. Uh, as, uh, as we left off last week, our intrepid adventurers had successfully argued in Oren's favor. And uh, he is not going to get killed for murdering a bunch of orcs in city limits. Yay! I didn't murder them! <laughs> <laughs> so, just as a reminder, uh, the judge, anyone remember his name? Oh, oh, fuck. Oh. Uh, uh, Lord Redwin. Lord, um, Redwin. Lord, Lord Redwin. Redwin, very good. Okay, very good. good. I'm right down. Yeah, that's I actually... just wrote really big R and die, so... <laughs> Oren didn't die. Oh, I, didn't die. I, didn't die. I have the captain's <laughs> name. Nice. So yes, Lord uh, Lord Darren Redwin had pronounced that uh, that due to the orcs starting the fight, that uh, Larry the Minotaur would serve 15 years aboard a prison ship, and Oren was ordered to pay 500 gold in fines. And at that, uh, Oren and Larry were let out of the room. Lord Redwin and his uh, other peeps also left. And uh, you guys are now in the courtroom. What do you do? Take it away. Okay. Well. Well. Here. I am surprised. I am also surprised that he. I he didn't a... uh, get found guilty. So I'm at the front. I turn around. And I just, like, I just lord over my accomplishment and walk slowly <laughs> towards the party members. I guess I would also have <laughs> been, a, I would have been applauding at the, uh, at the ruling. Okay. <laughs> you, you start applauding. There's a, a smattering of applause from other people. You know, the, the orcs are probably less popular than the human. And... I feel like this would be a good time for a performance, Durian. <laughs> <laughs> As I approach, I say, and that wasn't an excellent performance. I mean, I mean, it was, but I feel like this would be a good time for a very uplifting poem of some sort. People are exiting the courtroom yeah. now. I don't know. I, didn't, oh, yeah, I think the they're chair. getting ready for the next uh, the next trial, actually. I suppose we should leave, then. Yeah. Where, where is Arn? Where did they take him? Um, the uh, Lord, I think, before he left, probably said something to the point of he's remanded in custody until he can pay the fine. Oh, so we should probably help him pay that fine by perhaps. We can go see him. We don't. We, have to go. we could perhaps not pay a damn cent out of our own money. No, yeah. Let's, this... let's go ask. Oh, him. I said sell let's... his things if need be. Let's yeah. go ask Lord Oren what his family's <laughs> coffers have in their in their. Uh, oh I guess. God. How much gold their coffers are holding currently? I can't believe he's a prince. Oh, jeez. Yeah, we should probably speak to him about that, seeing as uh, it's something we didn't know until you know now. Nope. So you you nope, guys nope. didn't know either, Arthur says, because he's there with you. No, we had no, no idea. We had Arthur. absolutely no idea. I thought he was just full of himself. Well, you <laughs> could see that just by the way he carried himself, but yeah, a <laughs> prince. Uh, where where do you say he it's... was from? Matt Matt might have known, but he wasn't telling. <laughs> I give him a I give him a wink. Oh God! Yeah. Matt's just he looks he's looked dumbstruck since the whole prince announcement. <laughs> he's yeah. he's also not saying anything. Right. <laughs> he's not saying anything. Yeah. He, he didn't laugh at the. He didn't smile at the joke. Not laugh. Matt the no. mute is not saying anything. Matt uh, Matt is pretty much immune to Durian's charm, <laughs> as you guys have learned. He just rolls his eyes every time Durian talks. That's true. He's pretty, like pretty, much. pretty much. <laughs> All right, let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. Sounds like plan. I think All celebratory right. drinks are in order, but perhaps a visit to Orin first. Yeah, I think yeah. we can probably sell his shield. Cool. So you guys, <laughs> you guys, uh, monstrosity. You guys. No, he painted it black. Oh, oh he did. He did. He did. I Never did. Mind. My roll twenty just shut down. But uh, you guys go wherever you wish. 
Okay. Sorry. You can always look at the Twitch. <laughs> I asked Arthur, I said, I is the them. plan still to depart on the morrow? Yeah, I mean, if if as soon as we can get Orin out, I'd I'd like to take off in the morning right away. Probably a good uh, a good selling point to drive up your prices a bit. We've got a prince with us, who's, who's <laughs> deigned uh, to uh, uh, shower I'm, us with his attention. I'm not certain how that would make. You know, I'll think on it. <laughs> I, we can probably work out some kind of a marketing marketing deal. Hmm. <laughs> he just kind of goes quiet at this point. Also, we should probably be a bit careful uh, before, as before we leave, just in case these uh, orcs are uh, looking to get even. I guess this is a good. This point. is very a good very oh, good God, idea. Got moved over. So Matt, you Arthur, over. probably don't want to go off alone until we leave, and we'd probably be on our high alert, um, even on the road. They they were in a ship, That's but awesome I don't too. know. I don't know what they're doing. Well, yes, we we should certainly try and keep tabs on them a bit. Yeah, the, I know the captain stormed out of that uh, the courtroom pretty angrily, so I'm not sure where he went off to. Yes, I I would suggest we not head down to the docks anytime soon. Yeah. I Absolutely. think we should probably go back to the inn though that we're staying at. I don't know if they know where we're staying, and Arn's stuff is there if I remember correctly. Shoot, I don't even know where we're staying. Where are we staying? Uh, we are uh, staying at the Swooping Swan. Swan. Wow, yes. you are being generous. To the... Oh, wait, that was Arthur. Never mind. Yeah, that was Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was going to say, I could have told you that. If it echo of your mind. It's in my notes you're, somewhere. You're but... not there. Yeah, you you're haven't even too. been in here yet. <laughs> <laughs> he, he actually was there. But... Yeah, he dropped his stuff off like the first night. Yep. Mm -hmm. mm. Actually, he got jumped on the, the last night. Last night. Yeah, him. I was there for three days. Anyway. Oh, okay. So let's go see Orn real quick. To the prison. Wait, wait. I go up uh, before leaving the courtroom. I ask sure. him. I ask where a guard, where the, uh, the, uh, the, the, um, oh, what's the term? Shoot. I'm sorry. It's all right. I, I've been reading, I have been reading <laughs> actual legal documents all day, so I should know this. Um, where the acquitted might be. Currently held, the acquitted was the term I was looking for. Mm -hmm. The guard just looks at you and, and says, "Huh? Where's the prince, yo?" <laughs> oh, well, he was taken back to the uh, to the um, jail. Can we see him? Yeah, can you, you can. I'm five hundred gold. You guys can have him back. Okay. Well, can we? Well, we need to see him about that. We'd we like to uh... see him first. Ah, make sure he's not damaged. Prince... The prince didn't entrust you with the royal funds. Uh, no. Not as far no. as we know, at least. Well, um, just so you know, if he can't pay it off, he's gonna have to work it off. Yeah, that right. won't be an issue. We'll be fine. Okay. He'll be fine, at least. Okay, so I asked directions, I guess. You've been to the jail before. Oh, same, so you know same jail. Yeah. Okay, yep, so same jail. We go to the jail. You go to the jail. All and right. you are welcomed in uh, warmly by Lucas, one of the guards who you had met uh, before. Yes. yes. What about and he, Captain... He, he takes you Renaud. right to uh, Captain Renaud. Ah, okay. yes, I, I... Please, come in, sit down, uh, Captain, uh, Lady Amareth. <laughs> oh, Sir sure. Dorian. Dorian. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Oh, and I Butch. don't. I, Butch, how, hello. I I don't believe I've met your friends. And and he points to uh, Matt and Arthur. Oh. <laughs> ah yes. Um, they're they're here to uh, see about the welfare of our our friend Arin as well. I see. Concerned yes. citizens, Captain. Yes. I see. Well, um, Orin's uh back in his cell. Uh, unfortunately, it is. Um, we we do have to keep him there until his fine is paid off. Um, uh, oh, actually, so did he entrust you with any uh, funds to you know help settle this matter? I I would love to have Prince Orin uh, taken out of my hands, if you would. I understand, Captain, and uh, I believe that his royal coffers are amply able to provide, and we would just like to have a quick word with him, and then perhaps we will come and uh, 
Perhaps settle up accounts in the morning, if you will. Yes, of course. Uh, Lucas, take take them back to see uh, Lee Jorn. Please. <laughs> Fancy. And Lucas leads you back. And you can, and it's just Lucas at this point. Uh, even though there's five of you, they are not uh, crowding you with guards this time. Mm. Cool. Okay. Feels well, good. I'll turn to Lucas and ask him if he minds if we speak to Arn alone for a moment. He doesn't have to leave the room, but we'd, you know, like to have no, our privacy. No, of, cor- of course, milady. Take your time. And he steps to, like, the very corner of the room. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, I approach Orn, I guess, with yeah. Amaris. Yes, correct. Okay, so, uh, Arn, you're almost free man. How do you feel? Uh, better once I'm out of here. What's the... Oh, I'm I'm sorry, my my prince, and I give a really sarcastic bow. The accommodations do not suit you. <laughs> like during Amorous now is not the time. I cannot stress the urgency of me being out and us leaving this town as of this minute. How much money do you have? I have a total of forty-four gold plus the twenty-five that I've yet to be paid. What can we sell? So yes, what are we selling? Uh, at at this point, Arthur speaks up and says, "I can I can pay through the uh, the fine amount from your. I I mean, you've taken me to five out of six towns. You've earned the five hundred gold. I can pay it off if you want. That would be nice. Uh, I'd rather yeah. not. I'd rather sell. Yeah, I'd rather not. Uh, <laughs> guys, yeah, guys, I would guys, rather guys. sell things. Hold on, guys. <laughs> I think you're missing something here. You realize that." Every second we spend in this town now is putting every single one of your lives at jeopardy. What time is it, Travis? I'm sure we can handle ourselves. <laughs> We've done it this far. Uh, it is two in the afternoon. I don't. Do you really? You want to get Arthur, out right now and leave like tonight? Arthur, since you have the most liquidity available, I think if if you're offering that, that would be most generous, and we will work out accounts perhaps once we're uh, yes. making tracks. Um. I can't stress I, I can't stress enough that we need to be ahead of them on the road. I guarantee you that they're going to come after us. You know this. Why? You know what? I, right I don't know. Right now, I, Orin, I have an agreement with the captain. He's going to make you nice and comfortable here overnight, so you have nothing to worry about. Uh, Orin, it's not me who I'm worried about. I'm worried about you, actually, most of all. I'll be fine. I've gotten out of sticky uh, situations. Really Amrith is shocked that Arn actually cares about Durian right now. <laughs> Very you shocked. Realize, now that you were the one who actually helped me in the trial, he's going to come after you. You saw him how he was in the courtroom, right? I think we can watch after. They, there, there wasn't a big orc ship. The problem is... The orc ship was pretty small. Yeah. The problem is, it's not the worry about them from the ship. If we don't actually make, like, haste and get out of this town, they could actually be waiting on the road for us. Do you Perhaps. really think they're working with local orcs? Considering the no fact way. of his attitude and the fact that he basically coerced an innocent person into putting false testimony, I'm pretty sure he's probably involved in a lot of things in this area. Well... Uh, he could certainly be. I don't know, though. I mean, orcs are pretty intimidating. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to cross one. Mm. Mm. We'll see. This is this is beside the point. Let's. Uh, I, I don't know what you have to gather, Arthur, but we'll go see the captain. If, if or if that's what you want, we can make this move quickly. But I don't think uh, yes. hitting the road. Before the For end your of the sp- day. Before the end of the day. I will be fine, my prince. It's just not you that we have to be concerned about. What about the two people who list their eyes for us? Well, they're served as witnesses, and uh, Remy can take care of himself. He, he made that abundantly clear. They weren't going to leave with us. One didn't no. want to leave at all, and one was uh, just wanted to take a boat. This is true. But anyway, don't don't you worry about them. Let's just worry about yourself right now. I, your your cause is most noble, but right now I, I don't think we have to worry that much. Let's so what are we uh, doing then? Well, I think Arthur, what do you need? I just need to uh, to head back to the wagons with Matt and 
we'll uh, we'll round up the funds. All right, we will return uh, here momentarily. Wait, um, so what? What's the plan? Are we leaving tonight or tomorrow? We'll I, I would little... I would prefer to leave tomorrow. We, we we're not going we to get much farther today. Down. Yeah, it, it would we'll be better be to spend a night in town, do our traveling during the day. We won't get very far since it's already two in the afternoon. Right. You guys all you guys all know that it gets dark around five. Yeah. It's, oh, you know, if that is your wish, uh, so I won't go against it. But just my advice is that the even a minute we get in front of these guys, it's better for us. Normal. I'll have another word with. Uh... They're already in front of us. The gu the captain walked out before the trial was over. So. Yeah, but he might. My point is, he might not have sent people out in the roads just yet. If, well, if, if we go tonight, we're going to be in the in the dark, way closer exactly. to town. Guys, this guy's is be beside much the point. We've at least got another hour or two before Orange's out here. Yeah, I think we're safer overnight with the guards in town. I will have a quick word with Captain Renaud on our way out, perhaps asking him about a guard heightened guard presence to perhaps. Uh, um, prevent any untoward actions being brought against us before we leave town. We probably should go... One of us should go back to the uh, the inn, too, because... Uh, not Remy. Who's the other guy? Oh, I forget his uh, name, too. The first Jake? Guy. Josh? John? John. Uh, John. I think it was John. John. I made a John. John. Smith. <laughs> we should probably... Because John's probably waiting for us back at the inn, because he, he, he didn't follow us out the courtroom. That's, that's true. And he wants okay, to so that's settled. Get out of here. All right. And say, so. please be fast, so I can stress. All right. Okay. Well. So. Lucas, Lucas, would would you mind? Yes, sure. um, I would like a a quick word with the captain if he's not indisposed. Of course, sir. Uh, could could you all please follow me out then? Thank you. Unless you wish more okay. conversation with uh, Lord Orin. Nope. We're fine. We've had enough. Of course. So, Doreen, he, you're going to talk to him and the rest of us are going to go back to the inn? Or? Just, I just want a quick word. Just come with me and wait out, you know, wait wait for me, basically. Okay. Cool. You are back in front of the captain. Captain, I'm sorry to take your time, but I was... Not I, at all. I, I, I hope I'm not uh, being too forward in suggesting that I am not the most popular among the orc kind right now. I was wondering about um, whether... Uh, we could request a, uh, a an a escort, guard, an escort, perhaps a guard outside of our inn before we depart on the morrow. Yes, I uh, I had already arranged that, as well oh. as y you'll be happy to know that our guards did escort Captain Kilgren back to his ship, and well, uh, I would not restrict the freedom of movement of a guest of the great. Kingdom of Platinus, but I am currently restricting the movement of a guest of the Great Kingdom of Platinus. He's he's not going anywhere unless we let him. Captain, I understand, and we will help you re resolve this uh, diplomatic crisis in no time by, uh, by getting out of your hair. Uh, yes, that is the only resolution I would like to see at this point. We'll see us gone in the morning. So, thank you, Captain. You've been most kind. And, oh, uh, no problem, Lucas. Please escort them back to their end. I give him a I give him a bow and head out. He gives you a curt nod, and Lucas escorts you out. Okay. Let's roll. Roll out. Do, yep. Do, 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 so we're we're going to the inn to collect okay. monies. Cool. Lucas escorts you back to the inn. You run into no issues. Mm -mm. That's good. good. Um, Is John here? I go up to uh, Oren's room. Okay, you go up to Oren's room. Everyone else, what do you do? Were you looking around for John? Um, I was looking Kaden? around for John. At the, I'm going to follow uh, Durian. In the lobby, the tavern, bottom floor, whatever it's called. Yeah, you guys don't uh, see him there at all. Hmm. Uh, my goal is to take, at least and put up for his freedom, put up the little bit of gold that Orin does have. Yeah, you realize it's not much, right? Yep, I heard. That's fine. 
Amrath, you don't have to agree with this course of action, but I tell Amrath, I said, maybe we, you know, we're, we're all taking a hit here. I think this, some of this should go to offset. Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter to me as long as we get him out and we get out of this town, so... Yeah, fair Whatever enough. Happens, so happens. I, I go and rummage through Orin's things, take the gold, okay. return it to Arthur. So now I got zero money. Joy. What's what's this for? Say it's a, a call it a, a bit of a dividend on the uh, investment that you're making. <laughs> well, it's. I mean, I I appreciate the thought, Durian, but the the five hundred gold I'm paying you is basically five out of the 600 that you'd be getting at the end of this trip, so... Well, well now it's it's uh, 420 gold that you're paying. 440, whatever it is. Let's just keep it... 460, because he's only got simple. 44 gold. <laughs> oh, I thought it was 60 gold. Okay. No. Oh, I should technically be back. He is also holding on to 25 of my gold, because he never gave me my payment. That's you're not, you're not there. You're not there. You're not there. I was just mentioning it as a well, now, you. Now, now I can't meta that. So no one knows about that gold except for Durian. No, I asked about it earlier. I mean, a couple days ago I asked about it. You and did. said you could, he could entrust me with the money. but. Um, and he didn't. Yeah. Well, I say, I say uh, is, is, the, is Lucas still outside the, the inn? He stayed outside. He didn't come in with you. I said... Um, I think I said Arthur. They don't know. They, you and Matt, I think, are safe with the guardsmen. Why don't you, if you don't mind going, go and take care of Warren? Yeah. Uh, yes. We'll, they'll escort us. Sure. Absolutely. We'll I go can. Bail I can accompany you if you want. But uh. No. No. I. I will be fine. We'll be fine. Oh, they're dead. <laughs> they're dead. Hopefully not. <laughs> they're, they're... Okay, so uh, Matt and Arthur take off. Okay. Okay. So yeah. So Arthur's paying. Arthur's gonna give out five hundred of the six hundred that he was gonna give us at the end. Yeah. What was he paying us on the way here then? Little by little. It was half. Of getting... it was bas basically, you were earning half of the gold. Of the total 1,200, you were earning half okay. of That's what I each stop as you left, and, and you were getting the, the other full half. Yeah, the last 600 at the end. Okay. Okay. Cool. So they leave. Do you guys do anything in the meantime? Um, I guess I asked Durian mm. about John and Remy. Remy's fine. Don't worry about Remy. Did you expect John, him to show up uh, like that? It was a close thing. I don't know if I had swayed him, but I appealed to his... Uh, well, I took a gamble that he had some some uh, some better sense than I would have and uh, would come forward and do the right thing. So where are you guys while you're having this discussion? Sitting at a table? Yeah, you, just talking you, talking quietly yeah, amongst ourselves. Oh, yeah. uh, I saw a smile. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. We're in the common room talking amongst ourselves. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh, I've erected a large steel barrier. <laughs> um, a simple smile and everyone falls to pieces. Yeah. Well, you asked and you were just, like, smiling while you were rolling. I was like, uh -oh. <laughs> Rocks fall through and <laughs> we all die. Yeah. Uh. Continue on. Don't mind me. Oh dear. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> okay, I forget what we were talking about now. <laughs> uh, we were talking. Oh, we talked about by... Remy. And okay, John, what about John? I, John Ock. I don't remember if we uh, if we um, secured him any funds to get the uh, you know to provide him safety after testifying. Basically, I don't think we gave him anything yet. I thought he was gonna. I figured he'd stop us out in the courtyard, but or the courthouse, but he didn't. Well, we're here. He was here. He can come here if he would like to. I yep. mean, he's safer here than he would be down at the docks. So. Yep, I think yeah, so. True. I'm not too worried about it. If the if the if the orcs are being confined on the ship, as the captain said, I'm I'm really not. No one's going to raid the town. No one's going to come into a public place and do anything to us. So let's just 
Let's just keep our heads down tonight. Oh, I'm feeling pretty safe. I think Oren's just... Um, he doesn't know what's going on. He's been paranoid. in jail for... He's been in jail for four days, so... Exactly. Rightfully That's... so, he'd be paranoid. At this point, all of you are caught off guard as John just quickly slides onto the table. Because you rolled <laughs> like crap on your on perception. <laughs> yeah. He just, like, slides into a chair next say, to... Hey. Caught off guard as a fork <laughs> sword to, slices Next through. to Amareth. Yeah. Oh. She'll kind of, like, move back a little bit startled and be like, um, Hi! When did you get here? Is he sliding up into Amareth again? You, you got... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that got a little personal. All right, so uh, at this point, that's he says, what he's doing. In... All right, slide. You okay? You, you, you guys. I gotta friggin' leave. Do you got that gold? Um. Yes. I'm gonna look to Durian. <laughs> I look to Durian. John, we really appreciated you for what you did. You did the right thing. Yeah, yeah, I know. Now I gotta friggin' run. All right. <laughs> I mean, let's. I, I totally, I totally agree. But let's, let's not, let's not be hasty now. We're, no, uh, hasty is exactly what I want to be. Dream. Look, I, I, I like you guys. I, I was glad to help out. I'm glad your friend got off, but I need to leave. I understand. Right now. Travis, I'm. Um, Tra yes, Travis. Okay. I'd like to. I'm. What's the room like right now? Uh, it's, um, that will roll for it. It is a little below average of a crowd. Um, so it's, you know, there's activity, people going about their business. You know, it's like two or maybe three in the afternoon now. So the, uh, lunch crowd has kind of left. The evening crowd hasn't quite filtered in yet. So am I still sitting... light out. Am I sitting next to... Okay, so let me let me reveal what I'm doing right now. I'm worried sure. about just handing over money to somebody openly who just testified of their own quote-unquote free volition. I see. Just, just being safe. So what I'd like to do is... Um, am I sitting next to John right now? Did he slide in next to me? Uh, he slid in next to Amareth, who you are farthest away from. So you're basically like... Like, he's between Amareth and Cabe, and you're looking right at him. Does he have any pockets? He's wearing clothing. It's it's a fair assumption he has pockets of some kind. Okay, so what I'm thinking is I'm going to, in a moment, use my sleight of hand skill and try and slip money into his pocket without anybody seeing as I walk to the bar. Bam. Yeah. Okay, Clever. we'll roll if he's facing the bar. No, no, no. So I haven't done. I haven't done anything yet. I'm just. Yeah. I'm just. I'm. I'm laying out what my plan is going to be. Sure. So he is on the side of the table opposite of the bar, so you'd have to like curl around. Right. Well, I get up and walk around the table. Sure. Perhaps. Okay. So, um, I say, John, we really appreciate it. How much did we agree on? Look, like I said, I just need thirty gold to, to get out of here. And, Find a new job elsewhere. And Orin, or uh, Arthur didn't take the gold that I just uh, snapped, snatched no. from uh, Orin, did he? Uh, I, I guess not. No, he said he didn't need it. Yeah. Okay. That he would pay through for the group. So I say, John, quit acting so damn suspicious. Sit up. I'm gonna go to the bar and get a drink. You're gonna sit here and have a drink with us. We're gonna chat, and then you're gonna leave, and you're gonna have coin in your pocket. Fair enough. Yeah, fine. That that works. Quick whispering. Start talking like a normal human being. Come on now. We we had a good day. Let's let's order some drinks in here. What do you guys say? Do it. I like the sound of drinks. What do you? Yeah. Everyone's having. Everyone's yeah. having ale. Sure. Yeah. 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 Good. Sounds Why wonderful. Not? Excellent. So I'm gonna execute my maneuver now. Just, okay. <laughs> and, oh, right. Before I get up, I say, John, just keep talking. Like, don't don't just. Don't make it obvious, all right? Just keep talking among. And to ask Amareth about her uh, about her birthmark, she'll love that. What? What and birthmark? What? I, okay. I don't even know what he's talking about. We're just gonna leave it at that. Then. Do, you know? do elves even get birthmarks? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I get up. I'm getting up and what, walking. Where around. is it exactly? <laughs> rocking around the table, <laughs> and gonna perform this this uh, maneuver. So do I make a roll now? 
Yes, you do. Uh, yeah, so you go up, buy a drink. You've already got the gold. I assume you separate out 30 gold, or do you just give them all 44? No, I separate it out okay. 30, 30 gold. Um, cool. We'll say you do it slyly it. while you're paying for your drink. Right. I like that. I'll, I'll give yeah. you that. Like, I got my hand in my purse, and I'm just sort of sorting it by mm. feel, if you will. Yep. You're a roguelike character. You know what, what coins feel like what. More importantly, I just have high dexterity, so I could probably do this. Yeah, sure. You also have eyes, so you can, like, look down as you're doing it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you, successfully, you, all, you successfully sort 30 gold. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> That was hilarious. So what's my check to slide this into his pocket on the sly? Well, just wait. Amareth hasn't answered his question yet. I I have no idea what Dorian is talking about. There is no birthmark that I know of, at least. Do elves, do elves even do elves get, get birthmarks? Do we know that? I, I have no idea, do they? Travis? That's a good question. As an elf. As an elf, you would know that elves get spots and acne and boils and birthmarks and scars really? just like any other race. Okay, well... Although they are... Elves are a little prettier. Pretty acne. Okay, well, then to answer John, yes, we can get them, but as far as I know, I don't have one. Well... They're, they're warts never... are silver-lined. <laughs> <laughs> well, you uh, you never know, Amareth. You know, you can't no, I would, potsy I would a know. body. Not, I, I would know. <laughs> I could help you look if you no. wanted to. <laughs> the accent is killing me. Yeah, I, I, totally... just, like, I literally just like threw a pitch. Like, I was like a softball pitch to you. I was like, here you go. He actually <laughs> hit on Amareth before, I believe. So oh, that's good. what I was talking about. This is in about. character. This is in character. This is great. I know, but the the <laughs> accent is just what's killing me. It's so funny. <laughs> Uh, I feel like I'm in like New York getting hit on by some creepy homeless guy. <laughs> I think that's uh, Travis. He's not homeless. Career. He's got a good, well-paying that's what job. I <laughs> Testifying in court. <laughs> this, this guy probably earns like two silver a day. Oh man, <laughs> great. <laughs> so he, all right, he continues to kind of hit on you a little bit as Durian attempts to pull off his maneuver. Durian, let's Durian see your sticks roll. his hand nicely in his pocket. And so what I'm trying to do, sleight of hand wise, is sort of just subtly, like when I'm handing him his drink, I reach yep. and drop it in. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Into his lap. Into his. Yes, I drop the coin <laughs> all over the floor. You, all over the floor. You uh, <laughs> you don't quite do it that badly, but it kind of loudly. You like tried to. I don't know what you did, but you ended up dropping it between his legs onto his chair, and it makes a loud coin-like thunk, as like a sack of coins hits his wooden chair. Uh, I fake like, a trip and knock over a drink. <laughs> you, you knock over the drink you just bought him. We will roll for direction, and let's see, we start, how do we start? We start at one, two. You knock it away from him. Cool. Onto the table. Okay. Good, not on me. <laughs> whoa, man! Hey, whoa, what sorry the... about that. I, I, I tripped. Um, I'll, let me get, I'll get the bartender or wait, you know, a barmaid to clean this up. Hold on a second. It's, it's, it's all right, it's all right. I had hey. to uh, be heading out anyway. You and sure you don't see, want to... He's just... already snuck the gold into his... Actually, we'll, we'll roll for it. Well, he was at least sneakier than you. <laughs> Stuck the, code, or the gold into his cloak and... Says, look, th thanks for the drinks, guys, but I really do gotta get running. I put my hand on his shoulder, and I look him straight in the eye, and I say, take care of yourself. Yeah, you too, man. You too. Thanks, John, for everything you've done. Amara's not really just gonna say anything. She's just gonna wave, because she's creeped out by him. <laughs> he kind of winks at you a little bit, and walks out. She winces, and, <laughs> and cringes. <laughs> We never rolled for John's hotness. We should we should do oh, that. God. Wait, we, he is no. He, he just is... he just left our little tail. We don't need to know. Don't... Okay. <laughs> no, no. I need I need to know now. You need to know. He, he, you just said that you're gonna roll for it. Yep, now I need to know what you He's rolled. at your charisma. He's, oh he's wow. Not, oh wait, I'm looking. Wait, so you're saying they're perfect for each other? Twelve. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay, so John walks out. Okay. Yeah, she still winces. Like, <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Creepy guy. So, uh, barmaid comes around, cleans up the mess dirty and maid. Kind of glares at you a bit. I'm sorry, my dear. I've, I've clumsy feet sometimes. Tripped a bit. All the time. She soaks up a good three quarters of the ale and leaves the table. Nice. <laughs> So I, sit back, job. Yep. I sit back down and drink my drink. Okay. Do you guys do anything else while you're waiting for Arthur and Matt to return? Um. I'm keeping an eye around us, just just casually, you know. Okay. You're yeah. casually being observant. Just sitting there drinking my drink, and that's about it. Yeah. Oh, I might, I might, I might employ some of my bardic knowledge and start just, you know, maybe maybe we'll go up to the bar and. Talk to the bartender, see if he's heard about the events of the day, if there's anything odd going on around town, that kind of thing. Uh, he has not heard anything. I mean, he gives you a few stories, but he doesn't say anything about you guys. Okay. I mean, it's a big city. It's like 20,000 people or something, which is, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, pretty mm -hmm. good in this time. Anyway, we'll switch over. Uh, Oren, you are sitting in your cell. As Captain Renaud and uh, Arthur and Matt come in oh. with the guard, the Captain uh, Renaud walks up and says, uh, "Lee Joran, your fine has been paid. You are released from custody. I uh, I wish you the best of luck, sir. I apologize for the um, bad accommodations." Not at all. I understand. I think the world is ending in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> kind of what it sounds uh, like. So, um, someone on the roof is doing some roof cleaning or something. That's why I had my mute mic. On the, the roof? <laughs> uh, that's yeah, sorry. he's on the roof with some device going e cleaning the <laughs> No, you see, it's <laughs> actually... Do you live in a like, hobbit hole? Matt, <laughs> Matt actually right. entered the, the jail cell with a chainsaw. And <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, imagining, oh, I'm imagining that scene from Watchmen now. You don't need your, fo your you don't need your forearms. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Um but yeah, so I, I tell him that it's a right I understand. And that I um Okay. Yeah. I, I just get up and I go to offer him my hand and say like, thank you, like for any trouble and everything like that. Yep, he he All opens right. the cell himself, uh shakes your hand and says, Once again, yes, it's it you know Try, try to keep on the right side of the law, uh, Lee Joran. <laughs> yes, I'll do my best. Did you take an oath of fealty from him? No. Oh wait, I'm not there. No, no cheeky. That one. <laughs> and I, I know you guys don't children. know dwarven terms for stuff. I do actually. <laughs> um, you do. Okay, yes, you do. You heard him called this. And it's just um, Arthur and Matt, and I say um. Would it be possible to get an escort back to my tavern? Yes, of course. Uh, Lucas will escort uh, all, f all, all three of you back. And would I know, like, as a guard, would I call him Sir? Or would I just say Lucas? Or my militaristic knowledge? He's he's, he's just a normal guard. So he's, Master he's a... Lucas would be the term I'd use. So Mister Lucas. Mr. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Lucas. He's he's not a knight. He's he's just a. I know. He's just a guard. It's like knights are normally sirs, and like everyone's master is what you like. If you're trying to be courteous or something. You can use you can use whatever terms you uh, were familiar with growing up in uh, your country. Uh, master Lucas, if you would. Yes, of course, sir. My lord. And he leads you back. Cool. And you guys don't encounter any issues. And you get back. Alright, so the first thing I do is I acknowledge the party and I go up to my room and I get my shit ready. <laughs> ready to go. As he's heading upstairs, I say, you just take, a shower. take a shower there, guy. Yeah. <laughs> You just give no, us no, a need to worry anymore. No need to worry about dropping the soap. Yep. At no. this point, you I mean, you guys all noticed in the courtroom that Oren was pretty well bloodied and and beaten and slashed 
and not in great condition. Uh, he actually looks pretty terrible right now. Durian doesn't care. Pale, weak, Durian cares. blood all over his clothes, bandages on, some of which are starting to soak through with new blood. Does he need to be healed? <laughs> That's up to the I don't know, Amareth. You're the, um, you're the, you're the freaking. Uh, I, I checked for freaking all my clerk. stuff. I don't know uh, what I else checked. that would be. Do you want me to I heal you before you shower? Oh, I haven't had a shower yet. I was just checking. It's gonna my bleed all over. There are no showers. So, trick question, Travis. I checked my stuff. I noticed my gold's missing, right? If you check your stuff, then yeah. yes, you notice your gold is missing. Yeah. So Oren doesn't really care at this point because he can sort of. You sort of guess what may have just happened. Yeah, you didn't have a lot of gold anyway. <laughs> yeah. And um, so I go downstairs after preparing my stuff, and I say to the party, listen, I know there's uh, some explaining I'll have to do, and we'll do it a little bit later this evening. Like, I, I sort of planned to do this as we traveled and as we were camping for the night, but since we're... Um, since we're staying the night here, later on tonight, if you three would like to come to my room, and if I Whoa. do extend the offer to Matt and party. Um, Arthur as well, if they wish to come, but they don't have to. Meanwhile, I'm got, I like turn to Drew and I say, I assuming you spent some of it somehow. You know, do, you know, I, Orin, I've been sitting I here like and I hear blah, 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 and no thank you, Durian. I owe you my life. I, said, I, 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 I need a... I said thank, I said thank you in the jail There's never though. enough, but now you're free. Now, now it's not coerced out of you, you know. One, you know, a, a fine... A fine uh, if you want to know about your gold, ask about your gold. Ask about it. I, I just Ooh. want whatever. I, I'm, I'm assuming that you guys used it for something, and that's fine. We I'm had some debts to settle, and there's, whatever's left. There's some change, and yeah, I fish whatever. out. I fish out 14 gold, and I plop it on the table. It's like thank you. I like. I look at myself like I sort of need to have a, sh like I need to have a bath. Um. So when I get back, like we can have that talk if you want. Um. And I sort of turn to Amref, and I. Go. I know this seems like I asked this a lot of you, but um, I'm that pretty, is true. <laughs> pretty well concerned that something is going to happen tomorrow. Would you be able to tend to my wounds? I sure can. Um, Lauren, so out of, forward out of, of you, character, my goodness. Though. Out of character, how, how much uh, did you lose? I'm on 7 out of 7. 33. Oh, jeez, okay. You well, 33 health? <laughs> yeah. 33 health, yeah. That's what oh, I'm oh, jeez. He got slashed 16. the fuck up. Yeah, dude, I got, like, reduced to three hit points, and natural regeneration's gotten me up by four since then. Well, you just got nine back. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna 16. do another one. And 11. There you go. 27. That's pretty good. You look mighty fine, and I slap him on the back. Um... Yeah, it doesn't. Sort of like it doesn't hurt nearly as much as it would have before she yeah. healed. <laughs> so you, you smell terrible, my lord. Would you please go? <laughs> please don't. Clean, my lord. <laughs> Whatever I you say, my else. lord. Please. I never knew when I was. I never Durian, knew when I was please. playing. I never knew when I was playing your squire that you actually uh, would take that to heart. No, no. I was being sarcastic at the time. Um, obviously, I'm not, I believe, yes. sir. I'm gonna go drink with the common folk. Um, <laughs> Turian's just enjoying this a lot. Yeah. I feel. Um, uh, I sort of looked at him and was like, I, I know. Once again, I'm being a pain, but could you please one more? Bathe, bathe me. Can I have I, some I, more, I wish... please? <laughs> please, sir. Please, I was like, I, I, I wish to be more? at my full strength Damn. tomorrow. Okay, so you. Travis, that was my two. Uh, cure moderate wounds and then a cure light wounds. Yeah, can you? Did you send me a spell list? Yes, I did before we yes, started. Yes, you did. Thank you. Excellent. Uh, yeah, two two yeah, cure cool. moderate and a cure light. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. But we're gonna be sleeping, so I'm sure I'll get them back very soon. Hopefully. Um, if you so, wake up. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, hey! Don't you yeah. say that. <laughs> uh, I only speak the truth. So I basically at this point I go take a bath. You need it. You yeah. you bathe. No one disturbs you at this time. 
Yeah. I then roll might... roll roll a bathing jack. <laughs> swim. Oh, Get out of here. Swim. Oh, D twenty plus hundred. Do I blow not... bubbles? There you go. Dude, you totally crit me out. Sparkling queen out of the bath. <laughs> Why is it 100? Well, God, he's a very yeah. experienced bather. <laughs> yes. He's the fine, I am the fine waters. I oh, would man. argue that since he was a prince, he had people bathe him, and he's a terrible bather. So. <laughs> okay, no, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a soldier. I bath myself. I Yes, I believe you come out sparkling, cl well, cleaner. Uh, um, you have bathed. Continue on. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I basically go back to the party, and what time is it now? Um, five. Five thirty. Si I'm gonna say six, actually, because it took a so, while to walk to the jail, get you walk back. It's not a small town. Okay. Yeah. A nice long six o'clock. Yeah. So I assume we have dinner, and then if the party wants to do it, I ask them if they want to come up to my room. For what? Would you like to do well, it? <laughs> there's a talk that you guys wanted to have about stuff. About me being a prince and stuff. There's a talk that you were offering to tell us. I haven't heard anybody say that they wanted to listen yet. Well, I, I, I'm assuming I owe you guys the explanation at the very least. So. I would like to hear this tale. See what we've been... You know what? For someone who is pretty mad about being misled, or a party being misleading other people earlier... This is uh, this is pretty funny. Well, I never, I, you Please. never asked. Technically, I didn't mislead you because you guys never asked where you're a prince. I never said yes, no. I just didn't tell you. I didn't say That's lie. Never. We did the same I, thing. I, I we did the you were exact same for, thing, and you got I really mad. You, I, I thought you were an ass, but I've never told you that. So therefore, it's that deception. <laughs> no. I, and I let's, don't say let's that. Go. I, I wanna, don't say that. I don't go. say that yeah. seriously. So. I want to hear the story. Yeah. I would like to hear it as well. All right, well, I'm coming up. I'm coming up. Uh, I go to the uh, bartender and say, I'd like, I don't know, do you have, like, a, a flask of heart, something hard that I can take upstairs with me? Give me one, too, Durian. We'll you want a bottle? I'm going to go get my own drink. A bottle of whiskey. bottle of whiskey. Very good, sir. He gets you a bottle whiskey. of whiskey. I, don't want, I want an oh. ale to take with me. In this one case, I get something that'd be the equivalent of, um... Water mm, wine? No, Apple I mean, um, <laughs> No, something alcoholic, but nothing that was going to impede me for... If case something happens in You that, get an show. ale. Yeah, an ale, just, yeah. Just a drink. Okay. But no, yeah. I get myself a root beer, even better. There you go. A root beer? <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, you get a root beer. <laughs> Sam, bro. Um, yeah, <laughs> There you go. Um, yeah, I did off since I did extend the offer to Matt and um, and Arthur. Did they come up as well, or? Uh, yeah, they come up with you. All right, so I let them into my room. I and sit down I... on the bed. Mhm. Mm I'm like cool. actually gonna lean up against the wall because I've done enough sitting and crap for one week. <laughs> All right. You all do your previously narrated body positions. Go ahead. Right, don't don't sorry. wait for me, by the way. Go ahead. Sorry. sorry. So I said I'd give you guys an explanation, and that's fair. Yes, uh, you're a prince? Yeah, yeah go on. <laughs> yeah, um, and while I don't have a problem about telling you about stuff myself, but if I'm going to tell you about my past as well, like any more additional information about myself that is me and my past, I would have a request that if I do, you also share a portion of yours as a thing of fairness. Nope. I don't know what you mean. Why? Why do we need to share things about ourselves uh, when the only reason you're doing it is because you got sent to jail? I don't know. Completely... I'm going to tell you stuff, but if you wish to know about my past in particular, then. That's that implies story. that implies that we haven't told you what our past is, or that well, there's something we've only known ourselves you. for less than a month already. We have no I idea about what we would want to know about your past. Well, 
Seeing as we don't That's know it. Or we're not Orin, look, tell perhaps, us, tell perhaps us your when prince, the amount of trust and brotherly love is is flowing again among excuse me, brother and sisterly love. <laughs> Thank you. Is flowing <laughs> is flowing again. Perhaps as you know party members do, they'll share information about one another. Mm -hmm. But uh, right. this isn't a barding. This isn't No no, no. I'm just asking for like if I tell you something of my past, all I ask is for fairness so that you tell me something of yours. Fair enough. I'm actually a prince as well. I think I outrank you. <laughs> I sort of chuckle at that. Uh, I'm going to do a bluff check. Or rather, <laughs> I, I'm going to try and actually bullshit okay. this. Oren, roll a uh, sense motive. Durian, roll a bluff check. <laughs> There's going to be some out. serious penalty for, for whatever, but I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah, I'll... That's beautiful. Yes. Well, uh, sense Durian, motive. situationally, give... Oh! Oh. We'll say that's at minus two, so you hit a twenty. <laughs> oh, Oren, he sounds very yeah. convincing. Yeah, <laughs> actually, yeah. no, no, no Oren, I'm, I don't think that's a prince. Evil I'm the bastard son, but it's still a very high-ranking noble. So. Right. I still so sort of chuckle at that because you've never once conducted yourself what I would think a prince would be. Yeah, that's. Now that you've heard it, uh, Oren's definitely carried himself as a noble. And Amareth, you may have noticed this once in a while, but, you know. Perhaps. I take a big swig of whiskey. <laughs> take a big swig of whiskey. <laughs> and pass it to Caden. As you guys have heard, yes, I am a prince. My name is... I'm sure I'm just repeating myself in the court here. Prince Barton. My real name is Prince Oren Octorius Barton. Okay. And I come from the lands of Gryffindale to the far northwest. Half old puff. <laughs> no. I, all, I, all I hear is, I come from the land down under. Under. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, and I go, the reasons for my travel were that I heard of unrest in the nations, and I personally came to see what the problems were, and if I could help as such. I didn't particularly do it with blessings from home. They were sort of, I shouldn't, from, shouldn't, like, you know, meddle in others' affairs outside the kingdom. So I hid my identity as a prince. I chose not to do it as a noble, but rather than just one person of this world. Why did you leave again? I heard of rumors of, you know, things happening and tensions rising between nations. Huh. So you, you yeah. left you left a very like a fine silken mattress behind for. I did not leave. I just journeyed. I am welcome to go home whenever I wish. What did you hope to accomplish? Well, to try and, you know, settle unrest between nations, avoid wars, which could then lead on to bigger wars from other nations that could eventually drag my kingdom into. And so I you attacked it. members of the Orc Nation, Arthur asks? No, no. I was well, simply a bystander. Is like, it... the inst Where is Gryffindale? Uh, it's way to the far north. East, northwest about oh, and I sort of do some calculations in my head and I would know it's probably about six month journey if we were to book it there mm -hmm. wouldn't I yep and, uh, basically I've just been traveling helping people as I go for like the last eight months of my journey or so trying to do what I can even if it's just something small I've protected caravans I've saved people just recently, we actually saved an entire town from an orc attack. Those were orcs. What do you mean by we? Well, we, as in we protected Sylvian. Or Sylvish. Sylvish. Okay. Travis, Did have I... I heard of Gryffindale? That's a great question. Roll a, uh... Roll a... Geography. Kevin. Knowledge yes. Geography. Yes. Roll a knowledge geography check. Do you have geography? I do have geography. 
Durian, roll a bardic knowledge check. Mm. And Amareth, um, just roll a general knowledge check, because I don't think you have anything that applies. I got a but 10. But you can... You got a 10. Okay, that's... You, you've you heard ah. of the country, but you don't know where exactly it is. Okay. Uh... Int modifier, got it. Fifteen. Oh. Amareth, you, uh... Oh, you wait, if I do a jump... Never mind, it would be negative two. No, 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 you get a plus because his kingdom's actually pretty close to yours. You've heard of Gryffindale, okay. you know exactly where it is. Oh. Cool. Oh, that's do cool. I have five ranks and a knowledge? No, I don't. Okay, so it's just plus, plus one. <clears throat> okay. So you... I know where he's from. I know, I know jack shit. You, <laughs> the the DC was twelve, so yeah, you actually aren't quite sure where it is. Cool. But Amareth, you can explain it as well as Orin can, and you all have kind of a you've seen maps of the world as it's known, so you all get the idea that Gryffindale is this guy. Why is it not clicking? I saw is, it. Is yeah, no, this one. guy? Oh. Ah. Okay. Island nation. It, it's it's the whole island. Right? It's the whole island. Okay. How do you spell that? Yeah. So I don't spell uh, it. Like, like uh, Gryffindor, but with an A. Uh, no. Orin, Orin, <laughs> for brevity's sake, do you describe your flag? Uh, yes, yes, I do. Okay, cool. Then I can just show this to everyone. Cool. Like, I'm not hiding. Like, if they want to know my more personal detail, my, you know, previous... There. It's oh. in the journal. Sorry. Is your mother the queen attractive? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't actually ask that. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say, if you ask that, if you know I'm thankful, you, I'd probably still slap you. Yeah, no, I didn't, I didn't ask that. Nice. Is the uh, queen attractive? <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, so... I, I go on to tell the party about like my nation and that we're a very powerful uh, militaristic nation where we have a very strong navy and our other specialty is actually in Griffin Knights in training of Griffins. So where's your Griffin? Well, I'm not a Griffin Knight. I'm more of what you would say of just the knight that fights on the ground of sorts. Mm. Didn't Footman. make it. Foot soldier. No, yeah. no, no. Each of my each of my brothers and sisters specialize in one thing. There are more of you. Good God. <laughs> well, I did say that I was the third born, and you know that I have a sister. I haven't really hid that fact. How many there are you? There were four of us. <laughs> my first brother here is more of the politician than the fighter of the family, you could say. My second brother, who is only a few years older than me, who's basically aspiring to be a Griffin Knight General of the army. I myself am quite strong and powerful with a sword. I f prefer to fight on the ground, though. Not to say I couldn't ride a Griffin. And I, thought the third, I, I thought the third son went uh, into the priesthood and became a eunuch. No, no, no. <laughs> um, that's, yeah, that's, later. Party, that's later. That's later, Drew. Oh, sorry. Um, I'm and sorry. My little sister, Warren. who, despite her young age, is actually a very gifted and extremely talented mage. Interesting. Hmm. Mm hmm. Well, then. Alright, how long have you been I away from home? I drink whiskey. Uh, about <laughs> eight months or so. Maybe a little bit longer, I guess. I mean, the trek down here was six months' journey. So, how many wars, so how you many were wars only then? around here like a month before you met us? Well, I've been helping on missions and stuff, so I assume that every mission I helped ah. took like maybe a day or two extra. Okay. My time. So I've been in Taurus about maybe two weeks before the party. I don't know if I'm drinking that much. <laughs> You've said it twice now. <laughs> um, yeah. Since that time I've left, I've been literally never possible being helping people trying to ease tension in nations. Well, I... Okay. That's an admirable goal, Oren. How I many nations have you any... saved? 
how successful has your trek been, Sir Barton? Uh, praise just Oren. Yes, what... Okay, what is your title, though? Uh, your title of respect, if you will. Well... Is it your grace? I... Usually a prince uh, is, is uh, addressed as my lord. Yeah. Well, I'm not in my nation. I don't really care for such formalities. Like, I originally began this journey as just or in Dark Strider. No nobility or royalty to speak of because I did not want to be treated different. Pretty much treated different. Like, just Auron is fine. Don't need to be Sir or My Lord or hmm. or any of that. Well, okay. what are your, do you have any goals for this trip? Are you going to go back when you accomplish something? Well, <laughs> and this goes back to the thing of back history, I suppose, but um, I'm honestly surprised you guys had never wondered about my eyes. Well, eyes, you, we you all, know, we I all have wasn't... the same color eyes, dude. Yeah, I wasn't well, going to ask. You, like, almost everyone has silver eyes. What the hell? Yeah, all four of us have the same eyes. I didn't think of no. anything of it. What? Well, the gray or silver. Gray or silver. Hey, hey, lilac up in this tank. Did yeah, you're the that? only yeah, I didn't one. Actually, I didn't actually realize the other two had silver eyes, which I gray. Didn't think was common. Gray. Durian and Caban both do. Hmm. You, all more, have, you all more... have a strange eye color. So I, I kind of look over and I'm, it looks more like burnished pewter to me. <laughs> I was going to say, is silver, uh, silver slash gray more common in elves than it is humans on? It's not a common eye color for any race. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't really say about the eyes. They're just then, fancy. They're fancy. Um, I basically say, though, that in my bloodline, those normally who are gifted with silver eyes normally come to great destinies, and I was hoping that, you know, while I do my own journey for my own reasons, that maybe I'd come across it. Fair enough. I Are laugh. Finding yourself. I start laughing. I laugh, laugh. heartily. <laughs> Are you laughing? So, Darian, your sure. eyes too. Are you, uh, are you descendant of the Bartons as well? No. <laughs> I look over at him and and pass him the bottle. I take a drink and I I'll say, well, I think we're all out here to find a bit of ourselves too. Arn. Our destinies or maybe well think Durian's case. He seems to be in it for the fun. <laughs> Is there anything else you wish to know? I have questions. Uh, that thing on your arm again, what is that? Your hand or whatever it's, it may be? It is a birthmark of the royal family. It signifies one is, is actually a prince or a royal member. Hmm. I see. Amrith was talking okay. about her birthmark earlier. I don't have one! I thought you were going to show us. <laughs> By the way, is it something unmentioned? You have a birthmark, Amrith? <laughs> I don't. I don't. Uh, never like think about it. Do I know there's a like, strange tension between Amrith and Durian? Uh, you. There, there is no strange not. tension. You do not. <laughs> oh, is that still? A, is that tension still going on? No, yeah. we apologized and I. Oh, that's right. Grudgingly accepted it. Oh, it's. Uh, I, I just like. Okay, I was being elves again. I guess. Um, in I my head. I think I did apologize. Told me a half you no, you apologized. You, you shat on my ancestry, though. Yeah, but you still apologized. Wait, you, are they actually saying this out loud at this point? No. Yeah, yes. Damn it. Unless yes. they say otherwise. Oh, were you? Because I was asking outside again, but okay. Yes, yeah. I said I said that to her. Did um, I apologize? You did yeah. apologize. Yeah, but you I didn't hear an apology sorry. from you. She I don't need to apologize. You were the one who oh. started it. I take another drink. <laughs> I like sort of like look back and forth and like, uh, someone want to clue me in on this? What just happened? Yeah, you know, it was it was kind of an odd situation. Amareth asked for my help in picking up a guy, and she just didn't like the one I picked out for her. I did not. Uh, okay, so I look like Amareth. Do you want to tell me what happened? Because I think I'm going to believe you more than him. 
I was hitting it off with a nice gentleman at the bar, and uh, our lovely friend here, Durian, decided that he would he come like up and pretend. He would come up and pretend to be my husband. So the nice gentleman I was talking to decided to leave, and then Durian, you know, was being Durian, and then tried to apologize and set me up with a different person at the bar that was not as attractive as the first man, and I was very upset I by that. I saw a chuckle at this. I'm like, well, that's Durian for It was uh, Durian. Yes. I don't know As why I'm persona non grata in this here party when I'm the only one who can lead us to, to certain victory. I'm like, Durian. And I'm like, oh, that's, a, that's, that's a good limerick. That. I like that. And then I take a drink. <laughs> uh, go, so yeah, I guess you won't need to be healed at all in the future then? No, if I'm ever hit, I'm I'm a dead man, so I just better not be hit. <laughs> uh, I'm still but, waiting for an apology, Amra. I'm not apologizing. Yeah, unless you apologize, like if I understand the situation right, friend. Unless you apologize first, she has no reason to apologize to you. Oh so my start, gosh! He did, he did apologize, <laughs> guys. So, he did apologize. So I start humming, and I make as if I'm gonna cast a spell. Uh. So Amber like, is okay. gonna kick Durian in the shins. I'm actually in my room with my sword. I will point it at you if you try to cast a spell at this point. Do you say that to me? Yes, very much so. Don't get me wrong. I am very grateful, but let's not have any of this shenanigans happening in my room, okay? Not after what just happened. Yeah. You can understand. Well, Durian. He, he just saved you from like execution. So, I know, but is what I don't said. want to go back you in know. there because someone's using magic in my room. I understand my situation. I was like, fine. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps tensions are a little high. Yeah, they were until the it was oh, brought up. You, you, <laughs> you know what? You, no, no, no. Everyone, or here, give me that bottle once, Kevin. Here, <sighs> you still got it. Oren, take a drink. Oh, uh, I'm taking my own drink. Thank you. I got one. Sarsaparilla. <laughs> no, it's Rick, Arthur, I assume Arthur alcohol. takes a swig from the bottle and then quickly pours some into your root beer. <laughs> I assume Rick beer had alcohol in it to begin with. No, it doesn't. I give, well, I give well, Arthur the well, most, then, then I don't have the most beer, bro I nod had. that I can. I'm like, yeah, I that. Arthur. I was, I was under the assumption <laughs> Rick beer had actual alcohol in it. If not, no. I would have an ale instead. Okay. He pours some whiskey into your ale. No, I look at him like, okay, I don't normally mix drinks. Look, friend. you, I don't know what's wrong with you people. You just got off of a and great I, victory. Do you know I how know. many people get acquitted in a murder trial? Kinda. We're, don't get me we're, wrong. All, we're happy to I, be alive. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I just don't want to end back in there so there'll be no magic in this room. You understand? Like, I, I'm sure that if something goes off in my room, I'll probably get blamed again, and I'll end right back. I up. wouldn't worry about that. You're, you're absolutely... Arthur hands the battle, bar, bottle back to Durian. I, I don't. I, I set it down, and I say, you're right. I was only messing with you. You're pretty. You're pretty yeah. suspicious of me still. So. No, no, oh, no, friend. It's not. Did that. I tell I you? Gonna... Did I tell you? You know what? We need tensions are too high. Did I tell you that I have investors now? I have a, I have I have investors in a fine, and I pull out my flute. I roll my eyes. So I, ha I hand it over to I hand it over to Orin. I say, look 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 at what my friends bought me. I like I go. That's very nice. I'm sure that you'll do much more better in your performances than you have been. I'm going to but, remind Jurian that he still owes us for that. That it wasn't I just say, you know yeah. handing over money. I understand, but look at the fine work, Orin. Mean, isn't that nice? Yeah, this is important it, to it's me. It's very nice. Um, is it a flute? Was it a lute? A flute. 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 Was I said it, it's a very nice flute. Was and... it whalebone, or was it just some uh, <laughs> whalebone? <laughs> I don't think it was that fancy. Yeah. Um, Durian, do you remember what it is? Oh, it's brass. Nope. Mm. Oh, bronze. I'm sorry, not bronze. Yep. Oh, I got that's, it. Right. that's right. That's right. With Bronze, yes. I know it's it master brass, VR. Yep, it yeah. is a bronze flute masterwork. Yeah, with a master. really nice case. So um, it's all belt lined. It's pretty sweet. And at this point, I'll ask. MF had a question. Durian. No, no, no. I wanted to. Do you not appreciate this? 
No, I, I appreciate really... that. Uh, I said that I'd explain my thing, and I am. I no, 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 no. I don't think you understand. So look, look how good I've been practicing. So I'm gonna bear in mind, guys. I've been drinking quite a bit. So. Um, oh, he's that say, drunk guy. I say okay. it's. Back, he, I'm, I'm sure guy. you can show me how to play. So I start. Dance, but not I start. Orin, I think you'll like this. And I start playing. A not team. in my room, please. It's music. What? Yes, but there's people downstairs. I'm sure would love to hear it as well. <laughs> he starts playing. <laughs> oh God, he's casting a spell, isn't he? He just wants you to hear. Is, 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 is it actually obvious know. that he's casting a spell if he plays music? He's not casting. As he far as you know, he's not casting a spell. At I, have, I have, I have somatic or verbal or hand motion. Like I have components that go with spells. So, and I'm not doing yeah. that. Yep, right. he's just playing some music. Mm, so I'm, I'm imagining the, uh, I'm imagining the Zelda music in my head somewhere at this point. <laughs> there we go. I might have that one here. Which one is that, by the way? I don't remember. Sorry, that's Saria's like song. A, that's Saria's song. Yes. Yeah. Really? Okay. Yeah. Uh, How do they not have Sarius? Oh, music! Come on. Try to try old music. They might. They might. It might be under. It might be called the Lost Woods. Mm Mhm. No, I found it. Uh, All right, where to go? Ink copyright. Uh, yeah, I'm not actually sure how this works. Copyright. No, it's one. fine. It's fine. Whatever. <laughs> God, now you want me to bloody go play Zelda again? God damn, guys. Uh, I, I sent you a message, Travis. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm looking things up. <laughs> uh, That's why he is casting a spell. I'm gonna kill him later. You're not, I'm he playing music. You want to kill him? <laughs> I know. I know. I'm just saying. Like, he just saved my life. I'm grateful and all, but I, I seriously don't want any of this BS happening in my room. Like, you know, it outside, I couldn't care less at this point. Oh, so I need. I need to make a roll. I was just wondering what you have to make here. Oh no! You just no. You're just performing. Make a perform check. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Performance check. Performance flute plus seven. I swear, if he starts going back his old, I'm going to roll one of three stuff and performances, I'm going to be sad. I don't know, he's, I mean, he's he, just he, he, making he, he, a, he's making a performance, let me look up something. And it's a very beautiful performance. Bro. It's oh, an incredible up? performance. In uh, fact, come. you could say that you are all fascinated by his performance. Gee, We're yeah, enthralled. Uh, yeah, no, you're enthralled. fascinated. Yeah. Fascinated. I, so I like shake my head and like anyway, uh any other questions? Durian, you are nope. really good nope. at this. Nope, actually none of you none of you are doing anything. You are all listening to him play oh. with complete Very and intense. total enrapture. All so right. there is something. So we can't talk or anything. Right. No, you don't nope. even you, you cannot you stand or sit there quietly. Yep, you all just shut the hell up and listen to him play. <laughs> right. Well, we, are we like knowing what's happening here? Like, no, nope. you're just you're super. You're super fascinated. <laughs> All right, how oh long does this God. go on for? I play yeah. for about twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. All right. All right. So twenty minutes go. I sh- shake my head out of it and go, "What the hell?" <laughs> He's good, dead. right? You are. You uh, all come out of the effect very content and. and Thinking that that was a beautiful song, Durian. Yeah, I so am was... so glad I helped you buy that flute. That was amazing. I'm. I'm yeah. also really glad I. I made an investment. I guess. Out of like you, out of... you should really go on tour. That was very good. Matt's actually clapping a little bit. <laughs> yeah. um, like... I, I thought shaking my head like what was that? Uh, uh, that was good. Uh, anyway. Uh... <laughs> 
Yeah, that was love. I, I, we, I, I digress. I am so pleased yeah, with I'm myself gonna... right now. Um, uh, Kevin, period. I'm sorry, and you were saying, or, and I just was overcome with the need to play. So. Um, did any, I, anyone else have questions? I know Amra had a question about my, I actually take off my glove again and show them their birthmark. She's going to um, kind of poke at it and see if anything special happens. It explodes. No. <laughs> Everyone roll a reflex. No. But, um, you, see, you see, and Oren, correct me if I'm wrong in this description. It is basically like a feather type thing. Like The easiest way I can describe it, if anyone has seen this, and it's, once again, really, really long time ago. Uh, card cap is Sakura, the little... Oh, I used to love that Everything. show. Yeah, it's basically something like that, but not the same. Like, it's a little bit more un anime like and more Griffin like. <laughs> but it, it's like literally like a hard thing to do. Yeah, it's. To draw? It is a. Basically a Griffin wing. Okay. Yep, it's a Griffin wing birthmark on his left. It's the Perfect. top of the hand, right? Not the, yeah, the like palm, Maggie but up. the. Yep. Like the Triforce. Eh, not quite. Yeah, so if anyone has any other questions, they'll be happy to ask. Answer them, I mean. Not not really. I don't know, you need to tell us about being a prince. I was no, I... I wanted to know here. Yeah, I'm, I'm just glad that we, um, you know, everything worked out. Uh... Uh, so so we're taking off tomorrow morning, right? Because I I mean yes. I need to. Yes. My yes. wife is going well, to be worried. She's in the capital waiting for me. You know we're already a few days late. Let's leave yes. uh, before we'll leave on the, at dawn on before the first dawn maybe. Stuff. Maybe we should leave really early. No, oh, before dawn's fine too. We yeah, can... I'm, we we can get a, we can get a uh, head start. In the yeah, we can get an early uh, dinner here tonight and then take off right away. Uh, but I also turned to Arthur at this point and apologized to him. Pop like for you, like I'm sorry oh, that I didn't. Oh, that's like I. Obviously, I had my reasons for hiding my identity, and it seems it's caused some trouble. As you can understand, I sort of kept it secret because, you know, I have enemies in this world, and I didn't. Are want... Are any of them around here? Uh, I could not say. I've been to many trials in Griffindale and stuff, and people have been either arrested, banished, or have managed to escape custody. Where they are in this world, I have no idea anymore. Huh. Well, I... I mean, none of the stuff we've run into seems to be any indication of them, has it? No, but I worry now that my identity has been revealed in this place that it may come back to bite us. We'll, we'll be ah, gone. We're going to be gone less than 24 hours of you announcing yeah, your custom. Yeah, but... Yeah, but news will spread that I'm in this area and people will start coming. You have yep. to understand that this is probably going to spread pretty quickly. Well, when we get to Platinus, we can decide our next move. That yeah, is sure. true. You know, on that subject, I actually have an idea. And yeah. what may that what be? What is that? <laughs> well, we're already at Platinus. I mean, and we're pretty close to it. I was going to say that we should try traveling to the nationality of CN. Well, I mean, I still do have that thing that's possibly from possibly. there. What is that thing that I have? I forget what, did, what it is. What did you find <laughs> out about that amaranth? It was, uh, it was from Sien. Ring. You, Which I somehow Durian remember something about hobbits in the mix. Or um, I'm not sure about the in, hobbits. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm sure CN will greatly interest Durian of all people, actually, since it is to my understanding, a great nation of elves and humans. Why just him? Well, it interests you all three. That's why I suggest it, but... Hmm. You know. Hmm. And with the uh, recent incident that happened in Sylvan with the elves, I'm also concerned of what may be happening there. In CN? Well, there are orcs attacking an elven... pure elven population in... Poatness, maybe something might happen in CN. Maybe not orcs, but you know. Hmm. It seems that orcs are being picked on lately. 
that seemed to be more of a, uh, that city was like so isolated, no one really knew about it being enslaved. I mean, I don't think it was, it, I don't think, I mean, maybe it was their targeting elves specifically, but it seemed like it was just a isolated city, so it was easy prey. But yes, we could, I think heading in the direction would be, sure, we can, well, let's get to Platinus and see what's there, and then we can decide. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but once we get there, I'm sure we'll find something fun to do. Yeah. So, so you're all still uh, willing to escort me to High Crossing, right? For the last, um, oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's last right. That's like the mission. Yeah, that's right. Before. Yes, and and you're all welcome to uh, to um, have dinner at at my place in Platinum City once we get there. If if you sound like you're interested in in traveling there. Hmm. Yes, you of course. Very, I'll personally see you to your front door. You have my word on that. Excellent. Don't knock it down, though. <laughs> I say, I, I, I say that for the most urgent of cases, my friend. <laughs> I, I laugh, or Kevin laughs. Yeah, I sort of laugh, realizing I've actually busted down two doors single-handedly. Yeah. So I suppose if that's all we have to talk about, it would be best if we go rest up and get our things ready to leave bright and early tomorrow morning. Yep. Well, before it's bright, just really early. <laughs> yeah. So what time then should we should we see off? Uh well, I know five that in the morning a work for everyone. That sounds yes. great. That sounds good. Um, and call me paranoid if you want, but I know that we have a guard downstairs. Do we want to have one upstairs, like the three of us, and I walk to the guys? I don't. Think no, that's, I don't think that we'll I don't need think it. That's an issue. Yeah, I don't think so either. We'll be okay. fine. If you insist. We are. We are next door. If anything happens, we can. I'm sure someone wake up or shout or something. Hey, Eddie. Um, okay, well, Amrith is going to head back to her room. Oh, sorry, I was muted. I say, uh, I'm with Orin on this one. Hmm. I, I figured you might be, of all people. <laughs> it's us two in particular that have sort of to be more careful about. So you want to ask Lucas for another guard, or do you want us to pull a guard shift? Let's well, just... we can all just do a simple guard shift. Like... I think we should just keep our ears out, and uh, since I have uh, intentions to go downstairs and play for a crowd, I will take the first watch, and you all can turn in. Okay. Amrith is already gone, so she's... Yeah, um, I'm going to go get so dinner before I in. turn in. Oh, I yeah, no one's eaten yet, so... Oh, oh. Fuck. Okay. Amorth uh, realizes yeah. her stomach is growling and actually <laughs> goes down to get dinner. Yeah. She storms uh, back in and says, I'm hungry. <laughs> I'll be downstairs. Yeah. <laughs> Owen goes down and if whatever gold he has left on his person, which I think is like 14 gold, 14 I start buying gold? a feast for myself. Yeah, well, Whoa, enjoying that's stuff. a lot of food, though, isn't it? He just eats all no, no, of no. food. I don't eat 14 gold, but, you know, I have my 14 gold. I'm going to go down and start eating a feast. Okay. Okay, you buy yourself. A, yeah, you been. Food. That's like years of wages. Of food. <laughs> yeah, you've been eating nothing but shit food. So oh. Arthur, still buying all of your food, uh, ends up shelling out probably double the usual price. Ah, uh, that's fine. Okay. It, this is for obvious reasons that I need might be on my phone for tomorrow, and I've had shitty food for like the last four days. Yep. Plus, you lost a bunch of blood. Like your your oh. body needs nutrients at this point. By the way, did um uh, does Arthur give me twenty five gold, or is, he just doesn't do he, it? He does not. Do you ask him for twenty five gold? No, well, you I, know I he did think... just pay five hundred to get you out. Yeah, I know. I, I'm not going to put the subject. <laughs> I'm just wondering, does he like ever bring up the subject of the pay? Well, he he doesn't he think to. Okay, I don't impress this subject. I would I would slide for recent transcriptions. <laughs> okay. So you guys have dinner, maybe a couple more drinks, sake of brevity, you're you're taking watches. Uh, mm -hmm. Nothing happens during your watches. You all wake up alive the next day. And I made ten gold performing. You did not. Did you want to do a performance? I was going to perform. Yeah, he did. Go yeah, ahead he, and perform. He, he did On my was. first shift. I was going to or orate, but... Uh... We can skip ahead and not do it if you want. No, no, no. Do Go it. ahead. Go ahead. Oh my gosh. Okay. Durian, Durian steps up onto a stage and plays the same during, did This is during my shift, I imagine. Okay. So, can I can I make a uh, song suggestion? 
I was gonna. I was gonna uh, orate. Champion. Oh, you were going to orate. Go ahead and my, or, my, or, my, or, um, radiate. Yeah. <laughs> radiate. It sounds like a Pokemon. <laughs> Actually, does anyone have a poem suggestion? Dude, I am the champion. A sad one. Actually, uh, cremation of Sam McGee. <laughs> I don't know how to say his name, but one of our one of our regular viewers, who I don't think is here, actually submitted a poem to me. To oh, this. that's awesome. That's cool. Don't, don't do it if he's not here. I don't think he's here anymore. He's in There's here. only okay. one person. It, and that's Deathlex Travis's friend. Him or Death by Alex was uh, the guy who sent it to me. So oh wait, no, he's here. Is he still oh, in the hey, feed? Alex. Yeah, how's Alex? it going? Are I have you... not been watching chat at all. I... Oh, yeah, he's here. Okay. Well, that's an old message. So... Is it really? No, he, yeah. he's still here. He's okay. here. Well... It... Okay, well, Alex. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to keep it in case we get a few more viewers next time or whatever, and I'll read it that time. But... Okay. Lame. It's a good poem. He wrote it himself. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. nice. Sweet. Who's uh, Bertrand calling? Is that one of you guys? Uh, that's me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. So it's literally out. just us and Alex watching? <laughs> yeah, we have a slow yeah. night tonight. Well, we well I didn't put it on Reddit this week, yeah, so... You know. They want to have a oh, poem yeah. recommendation? I haven't, uh... I like, uh... I like To the Lake by Edgar Allan Poe, but it's sad, but, you know. Okay, well then, I will read To the Lake next time. Here's my poem, because I just picked one. I announce to the crowd, I say, my name is Durian the Bard, and... I would tell you a tale, a brief tale, and I go, My heart's in this struggle, my people will overcome, all the peoples will overcome one by one. These sorrows will be wrung like handkerchiefs until all the tears shed on the desert's galleries, on graves, on the steps of human martyrdom are squeezed dry. But the victorious times nearby let hatred reign so that punishment's hand won't tremble. Let the hour hand reach its timetable in the pure instant, and let the people fill the empty streets with fresh and firm dimensions. Here's my tenderness for that time. You'll know it. I have no other flag. Wow. Oh, sorry, Alex. I didn't know you were here. Stick and watch this. I will recite another poem before we're done, all right? He just has to that. So I, I will read another poem before the night is over, and it'll be your poem. So I actually still have the link, so. Okay. And what one was that again? Who was that by? That's another Pablo Neruda. Victorious okay. People, it's called. I, I liked it. Um, plus good. three to Short your and sweet, right? Yeah. I, I liked it. Plus um, the 20, so I'm sure I'm sure Four, nine, nine, twelve. Plus twelve. Come on. By the way, guys, when I rolled earlier playing the flute, rolled a nineteen. Oh nice. crap. You really oh, yeah. oh, God. Seventeen's yeah. still pretty good. Seventeen's yeah. not bad. Seventeen's See, I I didn't I have it up, so let me look. But seventeen's like better than a you know, begging performance, basically. Oh. Uh <laughs> seventeen perform. Here we go. Yeah. Seventeen uh, it was an enjoyable performance Good. in a prosperous city, which this is. With a that plus can earn 12, you. Dude. That can earn you. Let me grab a. You get uh, six silver in random tips. <laughs> awesome. Uh, I, I want to see the performance where he rolls a natural twenty, and he, someone just throws a platinum coin at him. <laughs> <laughs> they just whip a platinum <laughs> coin at you, it's right in the head. I catch it. Make it hell. <laughs> you, you know what? With that roll, you totally would catch. You catch it in your teeth. You'd just be like, huh. Yeah. <laughs> Fresh my memory. Yeah. That wouldn't be as like cool as the out of air snap. Okay. All right. We'll go with out of air snap. Cool. So you uh, you have a good performance. People, uh, you know, talk to you as they will bards. Is there anything you wish to do specifically? No, I just wanted to perform. Okay. Cool. So, uh, fast track. Again, no one's throat gets slit during the night. You all wake up. And, yeah, you uh, get a little bit of breakfast in and take off nice and early before the sun's even risen. And cool. this seems like a great time for a break. Yes, it does. All right. So we will take a quick um, five-minute break or so and be back. How much was that silver? Ten? Uh, six. Six. Don't worry, I, I keep track of these things. Cool. I have to take notes, because that, that'll be the day. Do you remember how much silver you got yesterday? <laughs> no. 
I don't even remember. No. So uh, we'll be back in a few minutes. Yeah. Cool. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs>